Here's my answer to this question. Probably not too horrifying. To answer this kind of question, we have to, uh, first of all, look at the dimensions and the angles that are found inside this unit cell. As we examine them closely, we'll notice that the length of the unit cell is 5.10 angstroms, whereas the lengths of the upper rhombus are 3.57 and 3.57 angstroms. In other words, I've got a unit cell that has two lengths in it that are identical and a third length that is different. Keep that in mind. Furthermore, although it doesn't say this, it looks to me like the angles at all of these uh, locations in these square locations are all 90 degrees. If you were to stare down the barrel of this, however, in other words, looking at, from a top point of view, looking down on this unit cell, the angles at these corners are all 120 degrees and presumably are uh, smaller than that on the, in, on the interior. So keep that in mind. We've got a unit cell that has two lengths that are identical, one length that's slightly longer, and 120 degree angles in the shape found at the top cap and the bottom base. As we go back then to all of the unit cells that I described in an earlier slide, let's see if we can find the one that matches that description. All of the unit cells shown in this upper group all have even degree, have even 90 degree angles at every single vertex, which does not match what we've seen. What we're looking for is one that has 90 degrees at most of the vertices, but 120 at the vertices that are interior. That matches this one so far, the hexagonal. Let's see if the side lengths also match. As we saw from our data, we're also looking for a unit cell that has two lengths that are identical and one that is different. Does that match the hexagonal? Yes, it does. So the correct answer to this question is hexagonal.